this was a pretty enjoyable drive, but you're saying you're you're in rush hour. How's this enjoyable? Well, it's a mental mindset. Had a great day at the lab. I went on a service drive. I decided to take some major roads that run parallel to uh, the expressway. Had to stop less than three times. And it was relaxing. I was observing a lot of traffic situations. You need to observe those traffic situations. I'm giving you a narrative of what you should be doing. And if you follow this narrative, you're gonna do really well. If you don't follow this narrative, you're gonna miss cars, you're gonna get cut off, you're gonna to have to speed really fast. You're gonna to have to drive extra slow because traffic has slowed down. The one thing I can say, I was pretty consistent on the speed and getting where I need to. And you will learn those things over time if your instructor is going to give you some defensive driving balance. And it's different. If you have four students in here, three students in here, they're nervous. They don't know what to do. The things I'm telling you is what you must do. Keep space take time, read and analyze traffic. If traffic is at 40, you need to be about 37, 38. If the speed limit is 35, you need to about, be about 30, 33. This guy is backing out. He's not looking over his shoulder. So I'm gonna show you something. See these cars? This guy's not looking out. And if you don't look out your back window, you're gonna hit a car. You have to look around. So this guy's looking around right now. You could hit a gas pump. You could hit a car. You could hit a pedestrian. There's so many things out here. And gas stations are very dangerous. And people are coming in getting gas. They're getting cigarettes. They're getting energy drinks, chips. This guy's carrying firewood, okay? Um, and by it being, you know, potentially, you know, Halloween or any type of special occasion, people are rushing to get candy. Uh, you know, kids have their costumes on. So you gotta be really extra 